In this video, we're going to look at Bing Maps and how you can integrate Bing Maps within uh, your Power Apps. It's very simple, very easy. On my screen, you see that I have some input fields. I'm going to just go ahead and type in an address. West Addison Street, Chicago. Select a state. Illinois. Get location. So you can see that um, the location, the address that I put in was for Wrigley Field. The map is displayed. I've captured the latitude longitude. I have some uh, map controls built in. I can switch different map overlays. So Bing has a lot of functionality and in this video we're going to dig into um, some features that could be useful in your Power Apps development. So let's begin. The first thing that you must do to uh, start using Bing Maps is get the API key. So if you Google Bing Maps API, or alternatively, you could Bing um, that phrase, you should come to this website. You'll need to sign in with your Microsoft credentials. We're going to click on Get Started. There's two different keys that you can select. I'll let you read over uh, this, but we're just going to go for the basic key. From here, uh, select my account, my keys, and you can click here to create a new key. I already have some keys built, so I'm just going to use this key. But to create a new one, it's pretty simple. You just type in an application name, URL is not required, and then basic. And then I just selected dev test um, just for testing purposes, but there's different uh, key types that you can create. So I'm going to use this top one here that I have for Power Apps. And this doesn't work, but this does. So I'm going to copy the key, which I will be deleting after I upload this video. Now that I have my key, I'm back in Power Apps, and I'm going to create um, a connection to the API. So under Data Sources, click on Add New Data Source, New Connection, type in Bing, select Bing, and just FYI, Bing is, the Bing Maps is still in preview mode, so it's not official yet, but I've been using it. It's worked fine. I don't think Microsoft is going to get rid of it. Make that connection. So now that is done. Okay, so now that we have the Bing API connected to our Power Apps, um, we're going to go into how we can start using um, this feature. I have some input controls on my screen. I'm not going to go into uh, creating this. Hopefully you know how to add these to your screen if you're watching this video. But I have um, an input, text input for my street, which I've named text street address. I have one below that for my city. and You can see the name here, text city address. I have a drop down for my state. And within drop down, I have the items, okay, for all of the states, which I was able to get from this website, and I will link to this website, but this website has uh, a list of all the states, comma separated in double quotes. So that made adding these very easily. You just had to paste that in, um, in between brackets. So all of my states are in that drop down. I have a text input field for zip, so text zip address. And then I just have two buttons, which I don't have any um, properties assigned yet to those. And then below that, I have another section for latitude and longitude. So the first text input is text latitude and text longitude. And then I have the same buttons um, below that, get location and clear but there's no functionality added to those yet. We will be doing that uh, shortly. So let's get started um, with Bing, the Bing API. So I'm gonna start with this button first, get location, and we're gonna create a collection. So I'm gonna type in clear, collect. I'm gonna name my collection col location, comma, Bing, maps get location by address 
All right, so after you type that in, um, Bing will give you some help on what you need within this um, function to have it work. So I'm going to start with the address line. And it should come up, which it did. Okay, that needs to be within a curly bracket. Address line. So that's going to be my first uh, text input field. Let me take that. So text street address dot text, comma. Next, uh, locality. Locality. These are all named really weird in my opinion, but it may make sense to somebody else. Um, so your locality was going to be your city. So I'm going to enter in the name of the text input field for my city dot text. Okay, so that's highlighted there, so I'm on the right track. Comma, admin district. So this is going to be our state, which will be our drop down. So I'm going to copy that drop down, go back to my button, paste it in. So dot um, selected text because it's a drop down, so it handles it a little differently than a text input field. Uh, dot value. Okay, for my postal code, it's going to be my last input field. So it's going to be txt zip address dot text. Okay, so that is all that I need. So I'm going to close it out with a curly, two parentheses, and we're done. Okay. So now if I enter in an address, so let's add a different one. I have one that's a little closer to me. Central AVE, Louisville, Kentucky. That's where I'm from, uh, 40208. We'll click Get Location, close this out. Uh, go to location or collections and within my collection I have one record uh, Microsoft is very the confidence is very high that it knows where this location is so that's good it has the address and then it has within um, points the coordinates so you click on coordinates so we have combined coordinates and then we have separated latitude and longitude so that's great it's just what we need for the clear button, I'm going to uh, reset all of my text fields. Text, um, street, address. So this will clear out whatever I have entered in and um, so it'll reset my entry fields. Um, let's see, text city address reset text actually drop down drop down state address reset text zip address okay and I'm also going to clear collection Clear, COL location. Okay. So now if I click on clear, all of those fields are empty and it's reset back to default. And within my collection, I have nothing. So this will help us out whenever we actually uh, embed an app within the application. So we can just clear it out and enter a new address. So below this, we have another section where we can get uh, location. And this will be done by GPS coordinates. So I have two text input fields. And I'm going to click on the Get Location button. And with the on select property, I'm going to Clear Collect. And I'm just going to pick up that same um, collection that I'm using. COL Location. 
comma. Bing maps get location by point. Okay, so this is going to be a little simpler because we're only working with two um, pieces of data. We just need latitude and longitude. So I'm going to select my latitude input field. Text latitude.text, comma. Text longitude dot text. We'll close that off. Another and that should be done. And then with my clear button, we're, we'll just reset uh, the text longitude semicolon reset text latitude. And then we will clear our collection. Okay. So now if I enter in some GPS coordinates into these fields, we will get the location. So get location. I'm going to go to view, collections, and within that collection we have um, an address, we have a confidence level, and um, the GPS coordinates. So that's how we can reverse get the address by utilizing um, the GPS coordinates. So this is uh, the first of two videos and we've set up what we need to um, enter in information and get location data. In the next video we're going to go over the map features and how you can add controls to the map and markers and use this data and display it on your screen.